not I think, take away. I think everybody's take away just like overwhelmed your feelings with for Taylor. What is your honest <laughs> opinion? The Taylor and Travis romance saga has captivated the country and the world's attention. It's like a romance novel or rom com playing out in front of us. One of the main reasons that it has us glued with our popcorn is that most fans believe that Travis is the one that Taylor has been waiting for. So let's dive into the details as to why Travis checks all her boxes and then some. Let's start with the fact that Travis is a bona fide Swifty. Long before Taylor Swift's attendance at Kansas City Chiefs September 25th game became one of the definitive pop culture moments of the year, Travis Kelsey was an admirer of the Grammy winner. The star tight end's interest in Taylor was first revealed by one of his teammates in a TikTok video posted by the Chiefs in August. Before Travis could answer the prompt of who his celebrity crush was when he was growing up, wide receiver Marquez Valdez Scantling spilled, Taylor Swift! Travis smiled at the camera before holding his finger up to his mustache, saying, All right now. Oh man, who was it? Oh, Liz, she's tattooed right here on my thigh. Yeah, nice. Okay. Right here on my thigh. Mine. mine was Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> All right now. Plus, Travis was just one of many celebs to attend Taylor's record-breaking heiress tour this summer. But more on that enchanting moment in a bit. Next reason is that Travis broke the mold on the type of man Taylor normally dates. While he does have that daydream look in his eyes, especially when he sees Taylor on the big screen at one of his games, Travis stands out a bit when you look back at Taylor's dating history. She is typically attracted to creative types, including actors, Joe Alwyn, Jake Gyllenhaal, Taylor Lautner and Tom Hiddleston, and musicians, Joe Jonas, Calvin Harris, John Mayer, Harry Styles, and most recently, Maddie Healy. But perhaps that's why her romance with the lighthearted and cheeky athlete, who signed a four-year deal worth $57 million in 2020, feels like such a refreshing option for Taylor after her six-year uber-private relationship with Joe came to an end this past April. Uh, Taylor Nick. Swift and all these other guys who are like they were always too cool all these for school. artsy yeah. entertainment yes. guys who are like didn't who wanted to like they had to act like they were good enough for Taylor He's because they didn't enough. think they were good enough for Taylor they were projecting their insecurities onto Taylor as her boy and Travis Kelsey he's fucking the main character he's a stud he's 6'5 250 he's an, a hall of famer he's funny he's charismatic he is just fine and he has no problem being like I'm so fucking excited that I'm in love with Taylor Swift now this next reason is a fan favorite because he openly pursued her. Looks like the eight-time Pro Bowler's wishes came true after he all but manifested his rumored romance with the superstar through sheer will, determination, and declarations of infatuation. Travis publicly aired his failed attempt to shoot his shot and talk to Taylor when he attended the Kansas City stop on her heiress tour July 7th. As it turns out, he had a special gift for her. He made her a friendship bracelet bearing his number that he hoped to give Taylor. However, he wouldn't definitely say if it was his jersey number or phone number. Alas, the NFL's best tight end couldn't get past the line of scrimmage that is Taylor's pre-show rituals. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. Travis shared on the July 26th episode of his New Heights podcast. So I was a little butthurt I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. Despite his claim that he failed to reach the end zone, many fans speculated that the two had been talking, something Travis more or less confirmed during a September 22nd appearance on the Pat McAfee show. No, I mean, it's life, baby. I threw it out there, I threw the ball in her court, and you know, I told her I've seen you rock the stage in Arrowhead, you might have to come see me rock a stage in Arrowhead and see which one's a little more lit. We'll see what happens in the near future. But hold on. Another key reason people feel that Travis is her person is that she's not hiding from it. Since her breakup with Joe earlier in the year, Taylor has been seen out and about much more frequently, including outings with friends in New York City and jubilant appearances at award shows like the 2023 MTV VMAs. But her most talked about appearance? Sitting in Travis's suite at the Kansas City Chiefs September 24th home game against the Chicago Bears, rather than shy away from the attention, Taylor cheered, screamed, let's effing go when Travis scored a touchdown, and was even seen enjoying beverages and a chicken tender with what one fan called it ketchup and seemingly ranch. 
Like the public, even Travis admitted he was caught off guard by Taylor accepting his invite. Shout out to Taylor for uh, for pulling up. That was pretty ballsy. That was pretty ballsy. <laughs> Travis said during the September 27th episode of the New Heights podcast. I just thought it was awesome how everybody in the suite had nothing but great things to say about her. You know, the, the friends and family. She looked amazing. Everybody was talking about her. And uh, uh, it was definitely a game I'll remember. That's for damn sure. After the game, Travis and Taylor were spotted leaving the stadium together in his convertible. We just slid off in the getaway car at the end, said Travis, notably referencing Taylor's hit song. And then we just slid off in the getaway car at the end. Shout out to Taylor for coming through and seeing me rock the stage. And since then, we've gotten several more appearances with Taylor attending more home games. And who could forget the infamous game in New York where Taylor brought along her star-studded crew of A-lister friends. She was accompanied by BFFs Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds and his friend Hugh Jackman, as well as Sophie Turner, Sabrina Carpenter, and Queer Eyes and Tony Porowski. Since then, we've got to see much more outings by the pair with date nights in NYC to more game appearances by Taylor to Travis even traveling down to Argentina to support her. And talk about not hiding it as she blew the lid off by putting on a performance of a lifetime for fans, and especially for Travis, because she basically serenaded him throughout the show. Now this next reason is a must for Taylor to move forward with the relationship. It's that he's family-oriented, AKA is he husband material and a good possible father. Like Taylor, who is close with her parents, particularly her mother, Andrea, Travis hails from a tight-knit family, including his parents, Ed and Donna Kelsey. Donna became a beloved public figure when she became the first mother to have two sons playing against each other in a Super Bowl. When Travis faced off against his older brother, Philadelphia Eagles center, Jason Kelsey, in the big game this past February, for all the stars to align and for them to get through high school and college and the pros and for them to both play in the Pro Bowl and to play in the Super Bowl and then for this to happen, Donna told ET at the time, this is just like a dream come true. I can't express enough how special this is for the family and it's just crazy. For the big game, Donna, who was married to Ed for 25 years before they divorced, supported both of her sons by wearing a half black, half red Eagles and Chiefs jacket after the Super Bowl, which saw the Chiefs best the Eagles, Travis and Jason got emotional while reflecting on sharing the experience with Donna. The moment I saw mom is when I got really emotional, Jason said on the Brothers New Heights podcast. It was so awesome. She was on top of the world for a week. She was the heavyweight champ man, Travis added. She was on top of it and she shined the whole time. Family is so important for Taylor and Travis because they're both in their era of trying to start a family. And now that seemingly Taylor has manifested her man in Travis, it seems that may finally happen for Taylor. And we all got our fingers crossed. If these reasons weren't enough, we got you covered because there were so many that we got a second part to this video. So watch out for our part two of this video where we got a juicy Easter egg in it. So what's your take on all this? Did any one reason in particular stand out? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos.